And this is something that I found interesting. You charged people $4.99 to listen to you rail and go off on me and Rev G and express your disdain. You upgraded your membership. I think it's $1.99 and then $4.99 is where they can hear you rail at me. Well, for someone you don't have any communication with, someone you claim doesn't have any supporters, you sure are invested in making sure you talk about me and get paid for it. It's very bizarre behavior, KKC. You feel comfortable making money off me and off Reb G, although you very clearly have this disdain for us. That's a vicious cycle that goes around and around. And I do believe that is the nexus of how and why you feel the way you do about us. I'm gonna get back to that in a second. But make up your mind, do I or don't I have supporters, KKC? I don't give a shit about what Google does or YouTube does about subscriptions. I don't care about anything like that. I care about people who support me, not about a number of subscriptions. See, we're not even on the same wavelength. I've never taken a dime from anybody on this channel. You are obsessed with getting people to pay you in any way you can, even if it means stabbing me and stabbing Gerald in the back, you're just fine getting paid for doing that. You're satisfied. See, that's your character. So you're not gonna sit here and try to tell me I've got flawed character. You are up here coming for people who did nothing but help you. You're acting like somebody actually did something to you that was bad and that simply didn't happen. So let me backtrack to what I said about the issue with Remix. I don't know about the production, but I do know this. You seem to have an incredible amount of resentment towards people you garnered significant support from and you benefited from. You did the same with Gerald, you're doing the same with me, and you benefited from Remix. I don't know what happened with your dispute, but I think it's interesting that all three of us are in the same category, that we helped your channel grow. People came to your channel because of what we provided you. And you have a lot of resentment and anger because of that. You resent having to acknowledge, and we're not even saying acknowledge, but the way you're acting, you're like trashing us after we helped you. So I can understand why people would get pissed. Like, who, who is this person? You helped a person. It doesn't mean you are indebted to us. No, but you shitting on us is a whole different scenario. So you shit on people who you depended on and you hate the fact that you depended on them. If you could have done it on your own, you would have done it. You still can't separate yourself from that. You continue to make money off of trashing me, trashing Rev G and trashing Remix. Well, why don't you make a complete separation and don't use any skills or anything that we ever gave you? Build your own channel on your own. Why not start from zero? Why not X out this channel, KKC? Zero out this channel and start your own channel. Build it 100% from your talent. That way nobody can say anything about having helped you. We never threw that in your face. You are simply reversing that by being incredibly angry and abusive towards us. You said on that interview that Remix ate because of you? How the hell can Remix eat because of you? He said he didn't get any money on his channel. You said that you gave him, I mean, I'm not getting into your financial issues with Remix, but it can't be that Remix ate because of you. It was his material that you used. And again, I can't make a decision about the actual process of all this production, but that's a reverse. The music that was produced was a heavy draw to your channel and you're acting so angry towards him. You're acting angry towards me. You're acting angry towards Rev G. And Rev G was the one that got you started on the video production stuff. And it seems like you do need somewhat of an upgrade. Now, who else is gonna help you upgrade? Can you upgrade on your own? I'm sure you can find someone to help you, but you're pretty much stagnant. As far as your video skills, and I see Rev G soaring. It's not about how many people come to your channel, it's about how many people are taking the material from your channel. They don't need to come to your channel to do anything other than to take information that they use 
in their videos. And that is exactly what people are doing to Rev G and they're doing to me, which they always have done. But you seem to stuck in this one area, the suspension, not moving forward, not doing anything that has upgraded your channel. So I guess you consider upgrading the membership fees to $4.99 and talk about me, AAS and Gerald, that's a way to make money. So you're in on the game. Before you get too offended, although you probably will anyway, you felt it was okay to offer this evaluation of my video editing skills. And again, it's not like I'm not trying to give a product to please those who support me. I'm extremely busy. I don't have the time that you apparently have to sit up on live streams for hours on end. Hours on end, I record 30 minute videos, 20 minute videos, hardly ever in one day is a video recorded. Not that I have to explain that to you, but I think it's kind of odd how you want to sit here and act as though a situation with me occurs in the manner in which you say it occurs. You're critiquing my video editing skills all the time. I'm telling people when I send them the emails, there are probably some reloops. I don't have the time to do all this editing. I am a very busy person. I love what I do. I also enjoy life. It sounds like you don't because you are sitting here and you have time to go through my videos and you're like nitpicking. When I stop talking at the end of a sentence, did it ever occur to you? I might have to answer a phone call or I might have to be doing something. I'm just putting it out there. You do have a lot of nerve trying to critique me from A to Z when you are so intolerant. Anybody saying anything about you. Does it matter how many people are quote subscribed to a channel? Are you happy with the quality that you're outputting? You resent the fact that you have to think about what we did for you and your channel. And if it's so painful for you, you can completely zero out this channel and start from scratch all on your own. But we know you're not going to do that. KKC. You're just all too happy to take what people gave you. Then turn around and act like somebody did something to you. That's the thing that's the most offensive. Keep pretending that people did something to you. You sat up there on your panel, even before you did your sneak panels, you were talking shit about me. You were sneak dissing me and people were getting more and more pissed at you for doing it. And I said, let them keep doing it because I want to make sure when the time comes, I would be able to provide these examples of how King Kong crazy gets down with folks who actually support him. I'm not going to act like you acted. I'm not going to act like I never supported you. I'm not going to act like I never cared about your well-being. You, for some reason, are saying I didn't care about your well-being. Like in this angry tone, what evidence? Not that you have to even talk about me anymore. You never provided any evidence that showed I didn't care about your well-being. Did I have you up on sneak panels screaming at the top of your lungs that I have you up on those sneak panels, egging you on, jiving you, getting you riled up to the point you were screaming out of control, far worse than you were on that interview. That's in your best interest? That takes care of your well-being? I mean, it got to a point where you got agitated. This is one of your sneak panels. Someone came up on the panel and started mentioning my name and you shut the person down quick. Something about that person mentioning my name set you off, although you were already talking about me. So you were aware of what you were doing. So saying I wasn't looking out for your well-being, I think it's the opposite. You weren't looking after my well-being. So you're trying to blame me for something that you did. I left your space because I felt you no longer were acting protective. You no longer were willing to take a stand to do what is right. You were just fine with letting people treat me any kind of way on your platform. And that was not acceptable to me. So in those instances, I bailed. I didn't try to force you to make a choice. I simply brought issues to your attention. You were unwilling to do anything about it. And then I left. You basically expected me not to defend myself, but for those 
who really believe I'm going to just sit here and be quiet, you're mistaken. I was taught how to defend myself quite effectively. It doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman who is coming for me for no reason. I know how to defend myself. I'm very capable of doing it. Does not mean I'm going to be impulsive and get up here and scream and holler? No, I don't need to do anything like that. But I want to make sure it's clear about what went down in terms of behavior and attitude and disposition. You were not set upon, not by me, not by Gerald. You decided you wanted to show your resentment and anger towards us because we helped build your channel. It's us because we helped build your channel. Same goes for Remix. And the other thing that I find to be kind of peculiar, KKC, you put up some other live streams like 2020 and 21. I didn't click them on. I just saw the titles. And then the comments, you were, I guess, playing audio of Gerald saying positive things about you. And are you taunting Gerald Palmer because he really did believe you were a friend? Are you saying you're proud of the fact that you fooled him? Because he said nice things about you, as did I. But you're the one that went behind our back in 2022, late 2021, and you started talking shit about us. So how is it that you think you can taunt Gerald, you can taunt us for being a backstabber? I mean, that makes you look pretty bad. And let me be honest, I didn't bother clicking on that video link to listen to it because we already have the original. This is one you were calling me hottie and everything. I sincerely believe that you edited that video. Am I going to take the time out to sit and listen to the damn thing? No, I already listened to it once. And the reason why I say I know you edited the video because we had a situation like this with you before King Kong Crazy, where you again viciously and brutally abused. Yeah, I am using the word abuse for what you did to another former supporter of yours very strong supporter of yours. You had this person up on a live stream and you treated her with such disrespect that I got a flood of emails. I was out with friends after seeing the first part of the show, which was a very nice show. You had guests on your show. Thereafter, you and somebody else who you were running with set somebody up for these Kevin Samuel type attacks. Although the person came up on your panel and was very serious about the topic that she was discussing, something personal that she was sharing, and you set her up for an ambush in front of the whole world. Using the Kevin Samuels quotes, like you're going to die alone. You were putting up the monkey face, just laughing at her when this person was up here telling a very personal story to you and the audience because she trusted you. Lucky for you. Your live streams were not that popular then. They're not really that popular now. They're more popular now because people think you're going to talk shit about me and Rev G. People didn't tune in. Very few people saw what you did. And I'm not going to go into that story just now, but eventually I will. I mean, you don't have any idea the damage that you caused. Cannot be erased by an apology that you're forcing someone to accept. You are the person that has a history of treating people with disrespect, with disdain, and with this abusive demeanor who offer you support. No one is required to stick around and put up with that shit. I certainly wasn't going to. And as I have stated before to so many other people, females, women in these YouTube streets are complaining about male protection. Don't try to force somebody to protect you once they are demonstrating callous and abusive behavior towards you. It doesn't matter how they were treating you before. Look how they're treating you now. Get the hell out of there. And that's what I did. I decided to leave your platform. You didn't kick me out of any space. And when I left, you lied. You continued to lie and say that you moved on. You moved on to a plan to continue making money off me. That is what you did, KKC. That's what you're doing now. So just so you know, you can put up whatever live stream you want. You can put up whatever you want about me. That is not going to stop me from coming back on here with the truth about what kind of person you really are. I mean, listen, people, it got to the point where people were leaving 
KKC's live stream and they couldn't even take their own screen names with them because they know how brutal and abusive he can be. Yes, you heard me. There are people who left your live stream and changed their screen names because they don't want you to know where they are and what they're doing. Also, he's extremely retaliatory. The person I just referred to in the video, she continues to support AES channel. That's not acceptable to KKC. He eventually, not long after, I left his site, his page, he snatches her wrench because she was leaving messages over here on this channel. And at one point, I know you try to get her to make a choice. Why does someone have to make a choice? If someone supports me, they support me. You cannot say I or anybody else that I'm rocking with went over to your channel and disrupted anything. But you seem to think you have free reign to tell people what they can do after they leave your channel to the point these women are changing their screen names because they don't want to deal with your bullshit. And then you get up here on this anti-ADOS abusive freaks channel and think you can run a story on me or stories on me that contradict. They contradict. You're contradicting yourself when you say on one hand, we had no type of close interaction, no matter what type of interaction it was. And then you get up there and tell the world that you gave me all this sensitive information. You just don't want to admit that you resent the people who got your channel popping. That is the bottom line. People should be free to come and go to a channel without having to fear you're going to attack them. Whoever tries to accuse me of attacking somebody and bullying them, trust you me, I have tons of screenshots that were posted about me many, many, many months before I opened my mouth. I have audio from live streams year, year and a half before I mentioned the person's name. So you can go straight to hell, KKC, trying to run this bullshit that I'm bullying people. You're the only bully. You got this person, a strong supporter of yours who refused to be part of your nasty harem and wanted just to be a KKC supporter like me. I walked with you. I am not obligated to deal with anybody else. And that was the situation I made very clear to you. I don't want any part of those other people. They're trying to get me to go up in these platforms where your enemies are. What the hell is that? You claim to have supporters who are trying to get me go up in these freaking panels, these offline chats where your enemies dwell. I don't have, what the hell am I gonna do that for? I don't have an interest in being around any of your enemies. I made that very clear to you. I also made it very clear to you how appalling I thought it was that people who claimed to be rocking with you and they were your moderators, they went over to channels and moderated for your mortal enemies. You're not gonna sit up here and try to tell me I did anything to you. Quit acting like we did something to you, KKC. No one did a damn thing to you. Not over in this neck of the woods. We didn't do anything to you while we were in your space. What happened, you refused to stand up and be a man and correct a situation that you let fester. I was not gonna remain quiet. I don't care what you think of whatever I am or what I represented before, this is the real me. I give people an opportunity to show who they really are. And this is the situation with you. So just know you can say what you want about me. I can come back on here and give my view and no one is gonna stop me. I will do it straight away without guilt, without suffering. It doesn't matter what you say or do to me. It doesn't matter what you say about me. One thing you can never say, I never stabbed you in the back. Can you say the same about me? And the answer is no. Did Gerald ever stab you in the back? No. Can you say the same thing about what you did to him? No. How about your other strong supporter who you treated like shit? Did she stab you in the back? No. Did you stab her in the back? Absolutely. There's a pattern here, KKC, and it is your pattern. You cannot character hijack us with your outrageously abusive behavior. And I am calling you abusive straight out. I have the proof. I have the evidence. So you're talking about going to court, go to court. Go to court, you're straight up abusive, and I'm calling you out for it. And I'll continue to call you out for it as long as I want. And as long as I so see fit. You're not gonna control what I'm gonna say and when I'm gonna say it. 
I'm on my timeline. I wanted to make sure I came on here to demonstrate for you these three minor contradictions. I will play that sneak panel eventually. I'll play it when I want to play it. We have all the screenshots. We have everything. You know good and damn well I had nothing to do with your panel. I didn't even think about going back. When I had the membership that was still running, I canceled it and I let it go to whenever it canceled. I never came back to your panel. You would know if I'm there. I don't have an incognito name sneaking into your chat. None of that. The people who sent us this information were mortified by your behavior because they were around and they saw that I didn't do anything to you and neither did Gerald. People, obviously there will be much more to come as King Kong Crazy continues to think he can run around here talk shit about me and about Gerald lying on us. Thinking he can manipulate a situation into some sort of scenario where he was done wrong, that somebody did something to him. Well, maybe somebody did, but it wasn't me, it wasn't Gerald, and it wasn't the other strong supporter who you felt the need to denigrate, abuse, and humiliate on a world stage. Stay tuned, people. You know there's much more to come. In the meantime, you know the drill. Buyer beware.